had a friend of the ministry send me this, and I just couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't even get through a whole lot of it. And uh, and I just, I watched it, and it was just so stinking vexing. And I, I, I said, I can't even watch the whole thing. It's just crazy if that's what people want. This Mark of the Beast system, the augmented reality, the 5G, whatever thing. And I said, I couldn't even watch the whole thing. He wrote back and he said, you need to watch at least the end of it. It's got quite a significant ending. So we're going to watch a little bit of this. I'm not going to play a whole lot because it's got some real foul stuff in it, whatever else, too. Um, immodest women and, and very lewd content. But I'm going to play a little bit and get to the end. You'll see why. Okay, so this guy's sitting on a bus, and the augmented reality is everything he can see around him, and it's just computer reality and stuff. It's insanity. I, you know, young people with their video games, it's just boggles my mind how you, you can just go into this altered state of consciousness where you get into this thing and you just, you know, just crazy. But, you know, he goes through here, and the guy's talking and whatever else. Then he gets out. And again, the street is all everything, all kinds of stuff and whatever else. And like I said, I'm not going to play it because there's some real filthy stuff in it. But then he goes into the store, into the grocery store here. And <clears throat> this little dog thing is at the end of his shopping cart telling him what products to buy and, and everything. And, uh, you know, it goes outside. And uh, it's about right about here. And basically, he's outside, and this person that's not part of the grid system walks up. Again, you can see the Sacred Heart Jesus thing right here showing up. More on that here in just a minute. But this person comes up and basically stabs him in the hand and takes his chip from him. And everything starts to crash and everything else. Um, so, watch this. Okay, I'm saying my points, my points, because of all the little video games that they're constantly playing as they're going around in nutty and sane world. But look, sorry, right over here, plastic surgery, free virtual consultation, whatever. But look what it changes to. And this is so telling if you understand history, because the Catholics have always been there, and, they, and early on they were using prostitutes and, and whatever to help build their system. Um, prostitution is a big part of Roman Catholicism. So quite telling, but but watch what happens. Okay, a new life has begun. Look at this. Setting up your new device. Statue of Mary. Semiramis and little baby Tammuz in reality. Okay, join Catholicism. This is 2016, by the way. Start again. Join a community. Find your path. Powered by Bully Entertainment. Take the tour. And watch what they have to do to join this thing and get this new chip or whatever, essentially. Okay, and look at that. Confess your sins, attend mass, uh, attend mass, be baptized. Spread the word of God, charity work, alms for the uh, the poor. You're a Catholic level one points manager. Now you can get points as a, as a Catholic. Unbelievable. I mean, could it be any clearer? You know, level up. And then it goes into the end of the thing there. But unreal. You know, and, and interesting hand 
gesture there. The Antichrist comes with a bow. Hmm. A bow. We won't get into that, though. But uh, how about that? 